company. I just know lots of stuff about how to paint. Yeah, but. Yeah. Well, I know that what goes on how to paint is dye and not pigment. I know how to paint is pigment. <laughs> it's, yeah, whatever. It's not, they call it the they dye. They call it tint, they call it dye, yeah. Yeah, but it's not. It never dries either. Yeah, no, it's not. Yeah. Wash it off. Well, you're not supposed to have it on you, first of all, because it will hurt you. <laughs> yeah. But yeah, it never dries. So if you get in your clothes, you can wash them right away. Yeah. It's pretty nice. <laughs> Yeah. Because uh, she is working in a home hardware store where we have the paint. Uh, yeah, yeah, we do have the wheelie thing, but we also have like computers now. Yeah, it's true. Now they have computers. And yeah, but they always break down. They're like twenty thousand dollars a piece. So. <laughs> <laughs> so basically, the what she's talking about, she's using a slurry of pigment, which is very much like the pigment dispersion that I brought, except. In this one, you have water and pigment, so it's not toxic, but the one she's using is made to go into a water-based paint, into a, a, a varnish, stain, whatever. So they have to use a carrier that's basically glycol-based, which is pretty toxic, but uh, it's basically what she's working about. And these concentrates, you know, contains pigment. And in pigments, you know, we've talked about organics and inorganics, but something I want to talk about also is the difference between a pigment and a dye. You know, in paints, in artist paints, we use pigments, we don't use dyes. And a dye, you know, do you guys have any idea what a dye could be, or do you guys know anything about dyes? I know when you're like dyeing fabric or whatever, like it, and the only time they would take like say, I know they made like a, a toy from a bug, I can't remember which bug, but then they would Got boil the beetle. Thank you. They would boil said beetle, and then they would <laughs> mush it up, steep, and then they would, yeah. But then it has a boiling process, but the pigment doesn't work? Yeah. Okay. And then they, uh, they made it into powder, you know, for later staining. But dyes are staining material. And pigment is paint. The difference being, a paint pigment is insoluble, and a dye pigment is soluble. I brought here uh, a little jar, and th in this jar I have uh, alcohol or water and quinacridone magenta, organic pigment. And you see now. There's still a lot of pigment in the water, but as the time goes, you're going to see the pigment start to settle down. That means the pigment was, it was in the water, but eventually it's going to separate. And that's the case for all paints uh, that we use as artists, and most house paints too. We use pigments which are insoluble, which are within the binder, like these. What I did is I mixed the pigment into my different binders, but eventually, you know, they would separate. In the case of paint, it dries before it separates. But a dye, like here, like this blue, will never separate because the pigment is dissolved. Water. Dye pigment. Here. <laughs> Can the dye pigments be both um, organic and inorganic too? Actually, um, that's a that's a, a good point. It can, yeah, because everything can. You see, a dye pigment. will absolutely <laughs> dissolve into the water or the media. And I'm just going to pass around the other one too, which is the paint pigment here. Yeah. So the dye is totally dissolved. Whoa. I shook it. <laughs> yeah. But you guys can maybe see the pigments. But in the case of the other one, these pigments will never, ever sell down the bottom. So you're saying which one? Which one is which? Dye yeah. is the, the dissolved. 
is the salt, and pigment never dissolves. So when you are saying you are mixing pigment in the water and you are saying you are trying to dissolve it, it's, it's not true. You are trying to disperse it. We disperse pigments because pigments are always apart from the binder or the solvent we're using when we are making eggs. Why we can't use dyes to make artist oil paints or artist paint? Why can't we use them? Thank you. The question is, we can't, we can't use, we don't use dyes to make artist paints. Why? Yes. And uh, not only will it go in, but also if you are to paint over, it's going to come right through <coughs> the different layer. It's never, you can never uh, isolate the dye less than if you are, for example, if the dye is soluble in the water and you are painting over it with an oil based paint, then it's not going to come through. But as you, if you paint with water, water-based paint, it's always going to come up. So you can never isolate a dye. In order to have paint, you have to have pigment and binder holding it where you want it to be. If you have a dye, you can't have that. And another reason is light fastness. Dyes aren't light fast enough to be used in all paints. Isn't dry Light fast. You guys, they won't last very long. They don't. They don't last very long in regards to the sun. Light fastness is when you are making artist paints. You said, you know, it needs to last a long time, and that's a function of the binder, but that's also a function of the pigment. Why can I have um, pigment? You know that are light fast and other pigments that are. What do you think? What do you think makes that determination? You know of why one pigment is lasting and the other isn't. Well, yes. did you say in the style uh, of cyanide whatever? Yeah. Um, wasn't there like a copper core that made it light fast? So yeah, it did. So I have to have added something. That's a very good observation. Very good memory too. Basically. Light fastness is the resistance to light, right? Light is a form of energy. Light is, you know, coming and bombarding the paint film, you know, all the time. So basically what you are trying to do is you are trying to make it resistant to that. So light fastness is actually a measure, an indication of how strong the pigment is, how strong the molecule is. Because a pigment is made from many different atoms like we saw. And to get the color, they need to be tied together in a certain way in the molecule. But if you are breaking that bond from the sun, then the color disappears. Let me just give you an example. So the definition for light fast is how it reacts to the sun? How it withstands, how it withstands the sun. Because if you are going in the sun, you're going to feel on your skin heat. Because it's a form of energy. When it hits you,